was actually a coincidence. <laughs> we met our protagonist um, by a coincidence while doing research for another film. And we were fascinated by her right away. And that's, we decided that she needs her own film. So that's how it started. <laughs> If you are born in Austria or Germany in the post-war generation, you are also born with the question, what would I have done? And that's a question you cannot answer. You can wish for what you want to, but there is no answer because you don't know what, where, we, where you would have ended up. Would you be a small cock in the system? Would you go into resistance? And for me personally, what's the search for, maybe not for the answer to that question, but to understand the question better. I had to get to a point where I can say either, I mean the question is on which side would I end up in a situation like that. And as a result, uh, the answer is not easier after the film, it's even harder because it's even harder to answer, even harder to say, I would like to be in the resistance, but I don't know. It was kind of a, of a, of a, of a gift for me when I, was, when, when I was born, 1984, so there I, I didn't have the chance anymore to ask my grandparents about that because I was too young before they died or before they lost the possibility to talk about that topic with me. So it was really uh, a coincidence meeting born 40 years after World War II and then growing up and then meeting uh, a woman who really worked there and he, who was a grown up there and worked in the, in, the, in the center of it. So it was really the last possibility to ask that question which are in our head because it's our history. <laughs> One was definitely the visual reduction. That's why we have it in black and white. And the interview situation is also not like at her place at home. We are not visiting her.